Nope. We're good. Okay, hey it's, guys. It's 420. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, but we don't do that. I know, but still. <laughs> We're not those types of people. Okay, so um, I want to say it's homemade pizza, but the, the I didn't make the dough. I didn't make the uh, sauce. I did, however, get it from my new favorite pizza place, <clears throat> and basically made everything tonight. Um, I stretched out. I made a boo boo. I stretched out the dough this morning around eleven o'clock and like uh, shaped the pizza, and that was a big mistake because it was hard for me to if you noticed on the video if you watched it uh one of the areas in the pizza is very thin the dough i overstretched it because i double stretched it and it was in the refrigerator hello abby hello abby how are you doing <coughs> girl um, you made homemade pizza too hell yes but hell the yes. caesar salad's homemade which I'm looking forward to. I got to talk to my pizza mama tonight. Probably the last time I'm going to see Hello her. Hello to the both of you. Hello, Jeff. Yeah. You know what the funny thing was? Like, Jamie's just like, I just want six garlic knots. I'm like, all right. I'll go in. I'll get the garlic knots. Walked in there. Saw her. I was like, she's like, hey, how are you? I was like, I'm good. How you doing? And she's like, I'm good. I was just like, he's in the car. He's been waiting to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, which car? And I told her. And then she went outside, and she was just like... Yeah, we were talking, yeah, and I got the inside scoop. And um, the reason she never messaged me back on Instagram is because the new pizza place... They took over all of her stuff. They took over everything named after that place. So I have her cell phone number. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to shoot She's her such a text. nice woman. I love her so much. She's very genuine. She's such a nice lady. Love her. Hello, Mama Llama. Maybe it's just me, the pizza looks dry. No, it's definitely not. It's definitely not dry. <laughs> um, did you tell them what you got going on? No, I didn't. So I made tequila lime chicken, and I put some cheese and some salsa on top. Ooh, I need an oven mitt or something, because I can't pick it up. I'll get it. I have to get my salt anyway. This came straight out of the oven. Here you go. Thank you. So I made tequila lime chicken, and then I put some cheese and some... Homemade pico de gallo on top with some cheesy rice uh, and Andy, some broccoli. What? Where I had the cheese sauce. The cheese oh, sauce. I threw the bag out. I didn't know there was anything left in the bag. Oh, well, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Oops. Does pineapple belong on pizza or not? Nah? All right, Junior. Pineapple only belongs on Domino's pan pizza. Only belongs on there with either jalapeno or sausage. Does not belong on a pizza from a pizza place. That's our opinion. And yes, I speak for Jamie on that one because he agrees with me. Oh, that would have been good. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's all right. <laughs> I didn't know that. Kaki, you love the plate of food. Cheers, girl. Cheers, Kelly. Considering you hey, tell Kelly. me I ignore you all the time. Cheers, Kelly. What's up, Paradox? Where'd my smoothie go? Kaki wants to try my pizza bad. I do. Oh, hello, Andrew. Hello, Paradox. Hello, Mama Llama. Wow, hey, mine Cortland. smells so freaking good. Hello, Kaki, don't wait for me. I'm about, to, I'm about to drink this. Court says, I'm a big fan of pineapple on pizza. See, no, I like pineapple on only Domino's pizza. I can't have it on any other pizza ever. It just doesn't taste right. John knows pineapple with Canadian bacon for me. Hell yeah, it sounds good. Has to be Domino's though. Can't be on like regular pizza. I've had pineapple on regular pizza. It does okay. not taste good. Here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. Bad. All right. I already cut it, but I gotta make sure. It does look burnt. <coughs> it does look burnt, but it's not burnt. Yeah. I'll show it's you guys burnt. the crust at the very uh, at the bottom of it. See? Totally not burnt. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. You gotta remember, guys. I'm not working with a real pizza oven. I'm working with a conventional. A regular you know, oven. Your uh, your the normal oven. So let's get some salt. And try. Why why Domino's? I don't know why Domino's, but it, and it Pizza only, Hut. 
It only tastes good on the, do on the Domino's pan pie. And Pizza and Pizza Hut. Uh, that go it goes for Pizza Hut too. I think we've done it with Pizza mm. Hut as well. I remember not liking Pizza Hut. <laughs> Is there a flop? No. <laughs> It's slowly going down. It's almost like you're you're ready to play with your friend, and you're 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 stiff. It's ready to go, and then little by little, it's like your mom walks in. It's like, Doo. <laughs> but how does it taste? I know damn well it's good. It tastes good. Bro should just went to Papa John's. No, 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 no. Oh no, Oak and Trammel and Frere. No way. Any uh, <laughs> any any man in here knows what I'm talking about. It's like, oh my goodness, I'm watching. You're watching a certain video, or maybe looking at a nice picture, and like you are like 100% ready, and then boom, like your grandma walks in. Hey, you want some milk with your cookies? It's like, mm. mood killer. Looks burnt. It's not. It's definitely not burnt. Can I try a bite? Go out for it. Pip them. I didn't realize you didn't cut it all the way through. No. Um, you're watching the abyss. What's up, Shark Belly Kelly? This must have been the side that was <laughs> I'm What's up, Wave Man? It's the way I like my pizza, too. I swear I was never a fan of well-done pizza until I started watching mm. One Bite Everybody Knows the Rules. And then I'm like, I bet, I wonder how that tastes. And I definitely got, like, the part where it was, like, thin in the crust. I mean, it's not bad. It's still good. Yeah, no. I, I'm not going to be picky, like I said. I'm never going to get my old school pizza place back, right? So, um, this is, this is fine. Grandma, Jamie didn't even order pizza tonight. I Jamie made know. this, him, Jamie made this himself. Grandma wouldn't walk in. I'd lock the door. Sometimes you forget, you know, like... Um, yeah, he never takes one bite. You're right. No more locked doors. Anybody know what that's from? No more locked doors. <laughs> I know what that's from. Friday no after next. No more locked doors. No more locked doors. I need hot sauce. All right, so the croutons will be a no, but the Caesar salad's good. Which bite was yours? The, um, that one. Sleep talking. Yeah, our daughter's like having like a whole conversation while she's sleeping, which isn't uncommon. It happens all the time. <laughs> she's still talking. Good lord. We went to a trampoline park tonight. Yes, we did. We did not jump though. No. Mm -mm. As much as, uh, Every time we go, me and Kaki usually does do the jumping, but we both leave as like old people. Yeah, seriously. I'm like, oh my God, my knees. Oh my God, my ankles. Yeah. <laughs> the last time I took our daughter, it was just my, myself and my daughter. And I left there. I was like, oh my God. I feel like such an old lady. <laughs> I'm not a spring chicken no more. I mean, I'm not old, but like, Jesus Christ, I can't jump on trampolines no more. I can, but I just knew I had to go for my run. Plus, uh, we had other stuff going on, so like I spent the night with my brothers and my mom. Hey! No! Knock it off! Want a piece of crust? Hey! Want a piece of crust? Hey, who wants some food? Hey, who wants some food? Come here. Come here. The trampoline. It's probably a workout. It is a workout. It's a good workout, too. It's a good workout, but... Come here, Abby. Your knees and your ankles, once you're older, don't fare so well. 
They do not fare so well. Uh, Molly, Abby, come here. Sit. Sit. One for you. Happy Saturday night slash Sunday morning. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. What's up, Dave? I was talking to Dave before. Actually, while we were at the trampoline park. Um, I'm, uh... <laughs> no! Hold on, let me see what they're barking at. It's probably nothing. Oh. Oh, What's up, Junior? It's his brother. Oh. Speaking of everyone knows the rules, what do you rate this pizza? What do you folks rate this pizza? Well, that's not my pizza to rate. Um, my old spot was always like a high nine. One million bites know, and everyone knows the rules. <laughs> I don't know if this is a taste that I need to really get used to. And I need to be very familiar with it. Um, but for now, I'm going to still stick with like a high... 8.7 I, I left it in the oven so it did get a little bit crispier than usual but um, normally it's still good it's like a 9.2 9.3 yeah it's up there it's a it's good tasting very good. pizza pizza looks good damn good thank you Dave yeah I was gonna send you a picture while I was in the oven like a video but it wasn't it didn't look appetizing <laughs> so I could only imagine because we preheated the oven at like a 425, which is the normal time we yeah, eat pizza. Yeah, and then you cranked it up. I'm going in for my chicken. Zero flop, bro. Uh, well, you know, Wave Man. I said this before. It's zero flop until Grandma walks in. And that, but this might be the thin part of the crust. I thought I grabbed the thin part of the crust. It's still good though. Wow, my chicken is freaking phenomenal. Yeah. Oh my god. Not suck. I'm never doing knots again. I gotta find a garlic knot spot. Hey, Mama Pert. Pizza slicer. Yeah, oh, well, magically disappeared in the drawer this morning. Who would have, who'd Magically, have, who'd have thunk it? I guess it needed a little bit uh, of a vacation. and uh, it, because it took a trip to another dimension and then magically appeared this morning. Who knew? Who freaking knew? I think it's my daughter. I think she knows and she does little things that piss me off. <laughs> and they get even with me. Oh, Jamie, she's just a little girl. Don't give her that much credit. Oh, I give her all the credit in the world. <laughs> what are you drinking? Uh, I have homemade fruit punch right next to me, but I haven't picked it up yet. And I also am going to go get those um, those chips. Good Hello, night. Mama Pert. How you doing, girl? Dave Portnoy always mentions the undercarriage. Undercarriage, too. Yeah. It's a good undercarriage. It's like, it's not burnt, just the top. I don't know. No, you wouldn't. Pizza tastes good. It tastes good, though. Oh. Austin wants to know what your body count is. I think he ignored me on that one. And you know, that's kind of a personal question. I didn't hear. What happened? I missed it. Austin wants to know what your body count is. My body count? Mm -hmm. How many people are you banged? Oh. Personal question. What do you think? Shoot out a number. And I'll be honest with you. Here's napkins. Did you try those? 
No, I didn't even open them. I thought you put them in the freezer. No. I do want to try them, though. 50? The hell do you think I am? 50? I don't get paid to have sex, guys. <laughs> Nine. What's up, Ashton? Uh, Kaki Hello, looks Nancy. Good on the thumbnail. Over a hundred? No. No. Oh my goodness. I feel like that's a very inappropriate question. To I ask feel like people. Somebody. Well, hold on. I feel like people that knew me personally back in like wrestling days would assume certain things. Um. The pizza is not burned. She had it actually tastes really good. Hi, Nancy. How you doing, girl? How you doing, birthday twin? I'll say this. How are you? Uh, I'm good. What's up, Albert? Um, I'm not. I'm. I'm not. Uh, I'm not like that. I was actually very shy and very, I didn't really start opening up my, um, I don't even know how to say this. I didn't start be becoming confident with women until my, the girlfriend before Kaki, actually no. Yeah, be the girlfriend before Kaki, no, two girlfriends before Kaki screwed me over. So, that's what I'll say. Did you see all the surprises on, on TNA tonight? I just saw them all. You two, Mike Santana, Broken Matt, and Sammy. K I did see them, Albert. I'm telling you, people are sleeping on TNA. I've been talking to my brother about TNA for like the last two months. Yeah, you have. This is not a late night snack. This is our dinner. This is our dinner. What's up, man? been following your stuff since day one question do you eat what you make after I do every night uh, so are you bi what is with these questions bisexual once again personal question um, but no, I don't think he is he's with me yeah I mean I definitely am not I'm uh I don't have a problem with that, but I'm yeah, not, I know. listen. I'm all for whatever makes you happy. Yeah, but but I'm strictly. I love men. Yeah, I love my man. Hello, Anna Love. Jamie found a place tonight that does a sandwich that consists of cheesesteak, chicken fingers, cheese fries, jalapeno poppers, and buffalo ranch. And it was delicious. <laughs> oh, that Andrew. sounds that <laughs> sounds freaking phenomenal. <laughs> sounds like a belly bomber. How was it? Did you eat it all? That sounds like a burrito place that we got. <laughs> hey, Lisa Marie. That we haven't had in a really long time. They make crazy ass burritos. Oh yeah, I bet he's cool, David. Right, Eddie Edwards. I'll give them a run for their money. Maybe. Are my comments vanishing on here? No, I'm seeing it. Who said that. Uh, Wave Man, I might have missed something before Wave Man, but I said hello. I don't even see Wave Man on my end uh, at all. Heck, it's not on TikTok, it's on YouTube. Acid Reflex gonna be hitting later? Yeah. Eh, probably not. Not for me, anyway. Real down to earth dude for sure. He seems like it. I, I think what I'm gonna do. Is because I've been saying this for like the last month. I'm probably not ordering the pay-per-view that's going to be coming tomorrow night. AEW's Dynasty. Well, Don Lise Marie, I'll let Jamie know. But <laughs> I feel like tomorrow should be that Jamie order it. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. Order the pay-per-view. Stupid. If, n n stupid. Stupid. If it is a disappointment and you don't leave tomorrow night banging your hands against the table because you're excited and it was a good show, 
then maybe go like this for a little bit and then have some TNA in your life. So I, was I think you it. should just ixnay that and just have some TNA in your life. Mm. Me being honest. I feel on, like a, on a different note, um, Lisa Marie says she can't see my food. On um, where? Um, TikTok or TikTok. YouTube? Okay. Tiki talk. Hello, my MILF. Jamie, that pizza looks bomb. Oh, yeah. Great pizza video. Yeah, his pizza is really good. Well, the pizza video is better than the pizza. Um... You're probably not going to be able to see my food. Hold on, Lisa Marie. I'm just going to show you a close up of what's left. I have cheesy chicken with salsa, some rice, and some broccoli. That's freaking phenomenal. I'd be interested to do something with jalapeno poppers in some way. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <sighs> um, do you have a laptop just to watch it for free? I have a smart TV, Dave. Um, I'm sorry, Albert. I have a lab. I, me and Kagi uh, picked up. Uh, we picked have a up. Roku. We have a Roku, but she downloaded me the app that I could get the TNA things. I'm not against them. I, I, I I'm not. I know it's popular to do the pirate pay per views, and I used to do it. Um, Thank you, Lisa Marie. I don't. Mm -hmm. hey, bro. I don't do it anymore. I haven't done it in a very long time, just because if I'm gonna watch something, um, that means I'm supporting it in some way, and by stealing from it, even though they it might not matter to them, <laughs> that, that there was a whole thing a couple of years ago. And it stuck with me. And I've been ordering whatever I wanted to order ever, ever since. So, I don't know. If, if, if they have a pay-per-view that is uh, for sale, I'll do the same thing I do for AEW. I would buy it. And I'm familiar with a lot of the talent that TNA has. A lot of good talent. Matt Hardy, I'm, I'm excited about because it's like his old character I that like he Matt brought Hardy. back. Yeah, It's going to be up in the air and like curious to see what happens with Jeff. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Will I will I order the wrestling pay-per-view tomorrow night? Probably not. Hello, Katha Marion. How you doing, girl? Hey, hey, what's up, G-Star? Hello, Shirley. Are you ordering it tomorrow, Albert? I kind of just, there's two matches I want to see. He said, but I sure damn ain't paying for know, a I shit know. AEW. <laughs> I feel like tomorrow, I really want to see Osprey and uh, Brian Danielson, and I want to see the ladder match. Those are the only two that has some sort of story involved. I feel like everything else is kind of thrown together. And then the teasers and the trolling surprises... I feel like it's going to be another Japanese guy that I don't fucking know. Thank you for the gift. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, the heart. Thank you. Appreciate that. I love Cody Rhodes, Andrew. Trust me, if I had all the money in the world and I didn't have to worry about stuff, I probably would... Even if I knew it was going to be horrible, I would probably still order it tomorrow. I think MJF returns tomorrow after Swerve wins because Joe needs to go film season two of Twisted Metal. Don't know what that is. I don't think MJF is coming back until um, Long Island. If he comes back. What's up, Stu? And then Munchkin said, I had Jersey Mike's for dinner. Did you try those chips? What do you think? They're, they're pretty good. I like those chips. Never had Jersey Mike's, though, in my mouth. Do you want to try them? Jimmy got a gift card a couple years back for Jersey Mike's. It's still active. It's still good to go, but we never used it. He's Sweet Tooth, the clown from Twisted Metal. I don't even know what Twisted Metal is. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like um, the guys and girls that are doing like side gigs with acting 
unless it's a major production, I don't hear about it. I had no idea Samoa Joe was doing anything. Nikki Six and Jack Sparrow had a baby. And here he is. <laughs> well, it's been a long time since somebody said that. Don't worry, you're not original. Somebody already said that already. <laughs> I was going to say, do, does... I get the mashups with the babies. Oh my goodness, this actor and this singer. They had a baby and it's <laughs> Jamie. But... Um, that doesn't hurt my feelings. What is the goal Jamie, slash should... purpose of this channel? Derek, I don't know. Well, we don't know what the goal is. Our goal is just to have fun and talk to people and maybe inspire somebody to, you know, lose some weight. Well. Yes or no? Yes, but at the same time, uh, I, I would say with this channel, I don't know. The overall goal is to... Um, I do want to, I like helping, I, I, I think I would, the goal is to like inspire somebody. I do like helping people and I help a lot of people out and I usually mm -hmm. don't find out until months after I have helped them out without me knowing I helped them out. Um, uh, that's my favorite. I'll take those compliments and those, Jamie, I started running because of you or Jamie, I'm down 45 pounds because of you. I'll take those compliments uh, every day of the week over, um, Holy the, shit, man, you make some killer food. <laughs> like, I like <laughs> making the food stuff, but at the same time, I would much rather help somebody out because if I helped you out the first time, guess what? You got the tools to continue even if you fuck up in the future. Mm -hmm. So, I like that part. Court that's, tip. But that's probably... I do like... That is my favorite part. And I know, like, I, especially, like, now more than ever... There's like, how can he even talk about that when he's stuffing his face with pizza and he's gonna do a burger and he does chips and he just he just runs. It's more of a mindset. It's more of a you could have your cake and eat it too kind of deal. Work hard, stay consistent. Um, you know, and then at the end of the day, people have you know bad shit that happens and they have these these times where they're kind of low and they're going through some shit mm -hmm. and some people will turn to drugs alcohol some people turn to food some people just you know if you're a fat kid at heart and you're a former fat person this makes you feel better and anybody that has a problem with that uh, especially with what's been going on with me and you guys don't even know the whole story with the exception of one person one and a half persons, <laughs> um, you know, then that's, uh, that's on you. Exactly, Court. We just hang out, have a good time, after a long day. Simple. Exactly. What if we're already an absolute unit? Can we still comment on the food? What does that mean? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Andrew, Andrew, I, don't, I don't know what a unit is. That, that just came off really weird. Don't know what that means. So you're saying the food is a gimmick? Can you little? elaborate? Can you elaborate? You're well, saying the food is a gimmick. The food is not a gimmick. Well, I'm just saying I like to have fun. Like, I show you the food, I eat the food. I exercise, I work hard. You know, so that's, how is the food a gimmick? Well, I don't know. It's a wrestling thing I can do. Oh, well, all right. Greetings and eatings. What's up, Mr. Savvy? Hello, Mr. Savvy. How you doing, my friend? If you're someone that's been watching us for a long time, you know what we're about. And at the same time, if you're paying attention, you know that we're normal people. We go through, you know, we go through things in life just like you do. Sometimes it's very hard. Sometimes it's very sad. Um, life happens. Shit happens. You, you kind of have to do what everybody you else has to do. Gotta roll with the punches. Yeah. And there are certain things we don't air out on here. It was a joke. LOL. Okay, I wasn't sure what it meant. I never heard unit. Lisa Marisa, it's like an Italian family dinner. You cook, you said, you eat in your talk. Manja. Manja, you manja. Heard, you never heard unit? It just means a person is big and muscular. Oh, okay. 
I guess not a funny one, but still a joke. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I didn't know what it meant. Never, never heard that. Never understood that. <laughs> Enjoy your meal, guys, and good night. Good night, Dave. Oh, good night, Dave. Thank you for stopping. Hey, Dave, before you, uh, before you leave, it was nice talking to you today. You made me feel very good. And I, I, you know, as I told you, I don't trust people. Don't come easy. But it's like almost like there's something that when you're talking to somebody, sometimes um, something comes along and it's not supposed to be seen. It's not supposed to be heard. It's kind of, you just feel, you kind of feel like, okay, you know, you could talk to this person. And that's why I said what I said to you tonight. Mm -hmm. So, it was nice talking to you. How does the, the Mrs. Mrs. stay slender? Does she run? Also love the nails. Um, no, I don't run. She she used to. And she's, I she's, used to run. She's getting back into it. Right now, I've just been walking. I've been walking since, like, the end of November. I've lost 25 pounds. Mm-hmm. Um, just walking. Walking alone. Haven't ran. Um, but thank you on the nails. I like them too. Thank you. They're purple and they're sparkly. I love them. Thank you. I'm happy you do, uh, Dave. And some people say walking is an exercise. That's a bunch of malarkey. Oh my goodness, we were talking about this the other night. Walking is an exercise. Anybody that says different can kiss my white ass. <laughs> and it's very white because I have hey, a tan. Hey. Don't get all graphic, Chico. You want a piece of pizza? No. And guess what, guys? I was an hour late to work today. <laughs> I was a whole hour late to work. And I honestly wouldn't have woken up unless somebody from work called me because it went through my watch and vibrated my arm because I set my alarm, slept through it because I was super duper tired. Super tired. You guys saw how tired I was last night. Slept through my alarm. And then somebody called me at like 6.30 this morning. My friggin' watch vibrated. That's what woke me up. Couldn't answer my phone in time. It said no caller ID, so I knew it was like somebody at work like blocking their number. And then I like text like the store. I was like, hey, I'll be there in like 15 minutes. And I got the thumbs up on my freaking thing. I was like, all right. Showed up an hour late. Yeah, I, I think everybody's different, Andrew. Oh, well. Do you like to cuddle? Me and Kagi? When, we, when cuddling leads to something else, we do a lot of cuddling. Yes, we do. Um, when it hmm. comes to us actually going to sleep and cuddling, sometimes I'll no. cuddle up next to Kagi, but our yes. bed is very hot. Yes. Our we have like a tempur mattress. We have a tempur mattress, which literally absorbs like every ounce of heat from your body. So, we really can't cuddle only because like... It gets hot real quick. We'll freaking sweat our asses off. The missus eats a lot healthier than Jamie though. Yeah, no, you're right about that. I try to. I mean, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. You definitely do. My manager at work uh, <laughs> comes to me on a Thursday or Friday. And Mr. Savvy said get bamboo sheets that help me from your tepper What are they called? Bamboo? Bamboo sheets. Are they hmm. comfortable though? I don't think you would recommend them if they weren't. I'll look into that tomorrow. When I think of bamboo, I think of like actual bamboo. Like the hmm, bamboo things, like the trees. They're naturally cool. Hmm. I have this, uh, my manager at work, we're friends on social media, and he's been seeing me grow. And he kind of brings it up every time we kind of talk. And Thursday or Friday, I'm sitting down and I'm signing in to my, uh, my computer device and he goes how's the diet i said look i kind of just like look my head up at him I'm like it's the shits and he's like he's like you're doing fucking good <laughs> and then we started talking about social media but you had tuna in a tub and it was bomb lol all right there you go my milf you had tuna in a tub awesome I want you to elaborate on that. Tuna in a tub. Maybe bring a bag of Cheetos in your bed to cool it off. 
They're the equivalent of hotel sheets. Oh, Andrew said, oh, bamboo sheets aren't great. They're the equivalent of hotel sheets. Hmm. I was thinking about silk. That's what I was originally going to get. They're naturally cool. My milk. I said sub in a tub. Sub in a tub. I thought you said tuna in a tub. <laughs> it's a chop a lot. <laughs> totally misread that. Is My it bad. hot in New York? It was nice today. On cold hot. It was so cold. Compared we, to the weather that we had. We still have a couple more weeks before it starts getting. The beginning of the week was very nice. Thursday and Friday I'm just was happy like, we're past the snow part. Yeah. Mm. Escaped another winter. Never say never. Thank God. Uh, no. We escaped another winter. Totally over it. Well, hello. Hello, buddy. Oh my goodness, Andrew, what are you doing? I'm, start, I'm slowly starting to disagree with everything you're saying. Jalapeno cheddars are far superior. They are Changing not. my mind. They are not. I don't even like those. I don't even like those. Cheetos. Nasty. Don't even like those Cheetos. Mm -mm. I'm funny when it comes to like Cheeto flavors. I like those little Schneider's like pretzel bites. Those are my favorite. The jalapeno ones, honey mustard and onion. Those are my favorite. That's a really cool headband. Thank you, Mr. Savvy. I like, uh, this is one of my, uh, this is one of my early ones. It's okay. You could be wrong together. <laughs> hey, you know what? Neither one of us are wrong, Andrew. Right? Like, everybody's got their own opinions on food and snacks. There are so much mm -hmm. things that I don't like that people go crazy about. So, me personally, we picked up those jalapeno cheddar Cheetos almost immediately when they came around. out. And I remember trying them, and I'm like, oh, I was... They weren't good. Yeah, I didn't like them. We didn't like them. But the Flamin' Hot Cheetos, those are good. Yeah, Flamin' Hot Cheetos are like my, my one, like, favorite chip. Me and Kaki went to the dollar store today. I picked uh, up this... It's, 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 it's a stress ball, but it looked like Flubber, the Robin Williams movie. <laughs> so I picked it up, and uh, as we're paying... <laughs> Uh, there was a Kit Kat. She's like, oh my god, it's a Boston cream donut Kit Kat. Yeah, it was like a chocolate covered um, cream like donut Kit Kat. I was like, oh my god, I've never seen that flavor before. Does Kaki ever keep her eyes open? Um, I usually do. But the fact that I'm up at freaking 5 o'clock in the morning. Oh, you're well rested. You overslept. I am morning. not well rested. I am tired. What's the red drink you're always pouring? It's homemade fruit punch. I haven't even taken a sip. You know what? You get up at 5 o'clock every morning, and then you, you I don't the nap. Same schedule. Then you don't nap, and you freaking have to freaking do what I do. Do you don't, like Cadbury Don't eggs? read that I do. one. I do. I used to not be a fan of Cadbury eggs. I love Cad Cadbury eggs are my favorite. I love chocolate. Anybody Cadbury surprised? Cadbury eggs are my favorite. And I didn't buy myself one damn Cadbury egg this year. Don't read. Yeah, I know. Don't read. What? What? The court six? said don't read, too. Don't. There was something that I said don't read. Court said don't read. <laughs> hey, Jamie. It's passed now. Had any issues falling down the stairs lately? No, not going wood. What was I not supposed to read? Something. Not saying it now. You sleeping tomorrow? Fuck, I can't block. All right, don't you worry. I got you, Court. 
Well, can I see it? I won't read it. Just point at it. Opinion. That Don't one? read it out loud. Oh, Davey, come on. What are you doing? Yeah, uh-huh. Davey, goodbye. He can't have that. That You can't have you in here. Corlin, aren't you a moderator? Yes, but he can't do it. Why can't you do it? Hi, Mary. Hello, Mary. How you good. doing? Me too, Khaki. I bought my own Cadbury egg and enjoyed it. I didn't buy any Cadbury eggs for myself this year. Bought zero Cadbury eggs. And those are my favorite. I love Cadbury eggs. I bought myself zero Cadbury eggs this year. Why does it... Why can't... Why... Cortland should have the same... I don't know. Court has issues where he can't block. What did you do to Court's thing? We too, Kathy. Well, yeah, I just read that. Hmm. I did block, but it seemed to let the comment stay. Oh. Gotcha. Well, I just blocked. I double blocked. Now they're double blocked. Blech. I don't Screw even, them. I know Cortland's a mod. I think Cortland and Kaki might be the only two mods. I would mod for you. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, we're going to keep our mods the way they are. Who is a mod? Me and Court. Is that it? He clearly said, make me a mod again. <laughs> 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 I want to know what you read. LOL. Well. No. Albert, unless you're on TikTok. Oh, because he you said. don't know what that's we That's because read. moderators can still see blocked chats if I'm not mistaken on TikTok. That's what Andrew said. Ah. I don't know that. We don't really. I never block anybody. Um, oh, no, I block. I don't know why, but unless you really <laughs> got to grind my gears, you know what I mean? Toast my buns. Uh, well done. Well, unless you say, like, some sideways shit, then you're blocked. It was just me, Court, and MB, and then she went. Am I? MB has a change of schedule. Uh, yes, yeah, she did. Big change in schedule. She, I, we still talk to MB. She still pops mm -hmm. in. I'm like, um, messages us and stuff. She's just right now is sleepy time for her. Slash work time. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Munchkin's a mod on you. I think YouTube, we only have Munchkin and Jimmy Jam. Mm -hmm. And Fasting Bastard. I think you removed Fasting Bastard. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen Jamie Rollins pissed. I still remember when he says, show them the fucking door. Yeah. It's, it's like I said, it takes, I'm usually the it cool... It takes Jamie a lot. Work. It takes a lot for, for, for you know... For me to really let it let loose on here. See, so, you no, know, I'm the hothead one. <laughs> I'm the mm -hmm. hothead. Jamie's the calm one. I'm full. I just wish I could be this calm at all times. I'm mm -hmm. still a hot coffee pot. But I've learned to... Uh, I don't even want to say I've learned to control it. I don't know. I wish I could control it. I just... Mm -hmm. If I fly off the handle, it's like, I don't know what and why it happens. Because it's like, it's a big time struggle. Like, at work, um, work especially, I, like, I'll go into something thinking I'm going to be cool. And then something something happens and it's like, it's like, no, why'd you let that motherfucker out? Seven, six, seven more. <laughs> Like, you know, there's like a game where it's just like... i never heard of it. No, like a, like a solitaire game. Where it's just like, oh yeah, you let this thing down. It's just like, oh, it's a two. Now I have to look for a three, a four. No. No. No, 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 no. What's up, Andre? My defense mechanism is always passive aggress aggressiveness. And can Your defense mechanism is always pass aggressiveness and condense condensation. Condensation, yeah. Listen, I'm very passive aggressive. I can be very passive aggressive. I can be very petty too. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, you're right, Abby. Have to do anything because nothing happens here unless someone is a bot or being rude. True. That's a fact. You know, my whole thing was when I was younger, and I was a real hothead, and I didn't give two fucks if I flew up the handle or not. Didn't care who saw it. Didn't care who I offended. And nine out of ten times I offended everybody. Um, I was a young, cocky prick that had... Here's the question. If we no have one was hurt in the filming of this video. <laughs> Actually, just in case, guys, just in case, hold on. If we do video. lose you, which we're probably going to lose you, I don't know why. But the live version is up. The full video. So just know, if I lose you guys, I apologize. Excuse me. What's up, Sorry. Eric? You ready to rock at a joint? Uh, yeah. I'm tired. Alright, because this is going to give me a pain in the butt of loading and editing. We will see you guys tomorrow night. I have a, a meatloaf idea. So, let's hope everything goes as planned and I'm eating some sort of meatloaf here tomorrow night. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Yes, thank you guys. Appreciate it. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>